In this video, I'm going to show you how to plot data measured on a Likert scale onto the graph in Microsoft Excel, just like this example here. Here, data are plotted onto a stacked bar chart, which includes percentage labels, so you can easily visualize the results for each survey question. As always, if you find this content useful, please let me know by leaving a like on the video. And if you have any questions, please leave me a note below. Now let's jump into Excel and start the tutorial. For this example, say I have performed a workshop at my school and I sent a survey out to all those that attended to get some feedback. There were only four questions which were answered by 40 students in total. For this survey, I measured responses on the Likert scale, specifically a five point scale since there were five possible responses ranging from strongly disagree to strongly agree. The numbers below represent the total number of students that ticked that corresponding response. For example, as indicated by this cell, 10 students agreed that the content was relevant. Perhaps the most common and useful way to represent survey data like this is to plot a stacked bar chart. To do this, I'll select all of my data. Then I'll go to Insert, and within the Charts area, I will select the Insert Column or Bar Chart option. Then I will select the 100% Stacked Bar option here. And as you can see, a new graph has been created. However, there's one issue I need to fix straight away. The y-axis currently displays the responses, while the colors represent the different questions. I want this to be reversed, so I need to swap my axes. To do this, with the graph selected, go to Chart Design, Switch Row Slash Column. Now each question is on the y-axis, and the different colored bars represent the responses. Looking at each bar, you can easily see that they total up to 100%. However, it's hard to know what the value is for each response. So let's add some data labels to the graph. With the graph selected, go to Add Chart Element, Data Labels, then select a suitable location. I like to use the center option. Now, as you can see, the number of responses in each cell are included in each color response block. So I can easily see that eight students disagreed that the team activity was interesting, for example. Instead of showing the number of responses in each cell, I could show the percentage value instead. To be able to do this, I need to work out the percentages of each response for each question. To do this, I'll copy my response headers. Then in my first cell, I will enter equals. Then I'll select my first cell. Then I'll divide by the total number of responses I had, which is 40 in this example. Then I'll press the enter key. I now need to do this for all of my cells. To do this, I can use Excel's autocomplete feature. With the first cell selected, I will use the little green square to drag the formula down. Then I will drag it across. The next thing I must do is to change the format of these cells to a percentage. So with all the cells selected, I will go to Home. Then in the Number section here, I will use the drop down menu to change the cell format to a percentage. To be able to add this as a data label, I will select my graph. Then I will go to Add Chart Element data labels, more data label options. A new sidebar should open to the right. I will select the label options icon to the right and then click the label options header. Then I'll select the value from cells option. Now I need to select the cells containing the percentage values for my first column, which is the strongly disagree response. Once done, I'll press the enter key on my keyboard to add this to my chart. It looks slightly messy at the minute, and that's because the actual response value is also being shown alongside the percentage value. To remove this, I will simply deselect the value option here. Now only the percentage value is being shown. What I need to do now is repeat this process, but for the other response columns on my graph. I'll fast forward this since you already know the steps involved. And this is what the graph looks like now. Another thing that you can do is to adjust the number of decimal places being shown in the data labels. To do this, I'll select my cells containing my percentage data labels. Then I'll right click and select Format Cells. I'll then adjust the decimal places to one and click OK. Another thing I like to do is to delete any labels that have a value of 0% as these don't need to be shown on the graph. I only have one of these, which is this cell here. All I will do is simply delete the value in the cell. Moving on, I want to change the color of the blocks that represent each of my responses. To do this, I will select the first blue block by clicking on it once to select all of the strongly disagree blocks. To change the color, simply go to Format and click Shape Fill. Then just select a color from the palette. I'll select orange for my example. 
I'll then repeat this process for my other blocks. And here's my graph with the updated colours. Another thing I like to do is where it's hard to read certain data labels, such as here, I will adjust the colour of the font by selecting the data label and then going to Format and selecting the Text Fill option. For these blue boxes, I will show the data label as white for a better contrast. Finally, what I like to do is to remove the major grid lines and the x-axis labels. To remove these, simply click on them in the graph and press delete on your keyboard. I'll also do the same for my graph title. And there's the final product. You now know how to create a graph to display survey response data, such as that measured on a Likert scale by using Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.